everyone, it's Tammy and welcome to the third card of our Season Like Christmas series. This is a stamp set available through Stampin' Up. I am an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator and my website is down below so you can shop 24-7 if you're interested in the products that you see or anything else. We have some great stuff. But I am just making some Christmas cards and I thought, you know what, I'm going to use this card because, or this series or stamp set because it's really easy and fun to use. So I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that I have cut to size to be an A2 size card. And then I also have a piece of designer series paper. This is a paper that was available last year. So it's not available in the catalog this year, but we have lots of paper that is. So you can find something that you like. And I made it the same size as the card front. And I'm just going to put this on top. of this card just so like it's the card front there you go I love the plaid so I think that's really cool and then I have another piece of whisper white that I've cut down so that I can use it to stamp my tree and I picked out two colors I have garden green and always artichoke um, the lighter of the two colors is probably the garden green it's hard to tell sometimes I'm going to use that one, the lighter color, on my first stamp. And I'm just going to put it kind of to the side of this piece of Whisper White. There we go. It's a beautiful color. And then I'm going to take our second one, the two parts of the stamp set, and I'm going to use the Always Artichoke to stamp this one, and it just goes right on top. Sometimes you have to get your head right on there. Yeah, that is a darker color. That's beautiful. And I'm always also going to use this Always Artichoke to do the stem. I'm not going to make it, or the tree trunk, I'm not going to make it a different color this time. And I'm just going to put that right here. And then I'm going to take my cherry cobbler and I'm going to pick the sentiment that I like the best for this. I think I'm just going to use the thinking of you at Christmas. And I'm going to put it right here. I could see I hadn't inked it very well. And I'm using my stamp and scrub over here to the side to get to clean my stamps before I put them away. I love this color. This is one of my all-time favorite colors. And then I have this cherry cobbler. Let me tell you the name of it. Double stitched ribbon that I'm going to put right here. So I need to cut this. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and put my little note to myself on the back it says need ribbon I just wanted to make sure I got ribbon <laughs> and I'm going to put this from the top to the bottom so this way just fold it over like that and then I'm I just like to put some more snail adhesive over the top of that just to make sure that it stays put. And then I'm going to put this kind of over to the side, but centered into the middle of the card up and down, but over to the side from side, from side to side. And then I'm thinking I might want a little bow. So let me 
see if I can tie this into a nice little bow. It's a little bit tricky because it is double-sided, this uh, stitch ribbon, and I want it to be the same side on the bow part. One of these needs to be twisted. There we go. Okay, so then I'm just going to trim this off. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just trying to decide where I want it. Do I want it at the top? Or do I want it to be a little... There, and I kind of like the things that long so let me I was gonna trim it some more I thought but I'm not going to so I'm gonna just angle these just a little bit because I don't want to angle too much since it has the X there the stitch and then I'm gonna get a glue dot or a few glue dots let's do one in the middle and then one on each Uh, ribbon. I know there's a name for these. This one, I was wondering what happened. It got stuck to my finger and it came off. So there, I'm just putting it back on. All right, so let's stick this down here and then that there and that there. And that, my friends, is Easy Peasy card number three. I am loving this stamp set because it is so easy to use. There's no coloring, quick, easy cards that I think turn out beautiful. I'm going to put a little bit more snail adhesive right here, I think, just to make sure that this ribbon stays down in transport. I don't want it to get caught on anything. So there you go. Thanks so much. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.